I have a feeling that most of the people living on the planet today were born into a world where jogging was just part of life. Um, however, I remember, because of my age, I remember when jogging slowly uh, entered the lexicon, the public lexicon, this idea of jogging, what is jogging? And you'd be running this way and that way. Uh, I, as a, when I was much younger, I used to read uh, mad comics and sometimes they'd have a book and I remember they had one on jogging, which was really funny, a uh, very satirical look at jogging. And so jogging has been there. I'm not a jogger. I've tried a few times, but it hurts. Um, my biggest memory of uh, this is pre-jogging and that would be cross country in school. And you had the very, um, let's say the thinner kids, the more slender kids, they love cross country. They could just, you know, go lap after lap. And uh, when I did it, I just, it was, it was willpower. That was the only way I managed to finish, you know, and every year the course got longer and longer and longer. And there was this terrible hill that we would have to run up. And uh, th that was, that was a horror show. Anyway, um, whatever the case, I have, I do look at people who jog. I walk around a lot and often when I'm walking, it's very early or it's, uh, or sort of in the evening at jogging-ish time. So you see all kinds of joggers. You have those who are incredibly elegant and you have those who seem to be engaged in an act of personal suffering, almost self-flagellation. And everything in between, you have, you know, people who've got this kit on, which is absolutely top notch. And you have people who just wear whatever and you see different trends where, oh, suddenly these, I see more of these shoes or I see more of these kind of uh, uh, leggings or tops or this and that and that. So I, I do look at joggers. I notice them. I, mean, I notice everyone. Uh, once, about a year, probably probably about a year ago, I was coming back on, sort of, I had gone for a reverse walk, so I have a usual route, but this time I did it the other way around. And as I got onto Van Diemenstraat, somebody just passed by, and this guy, I can't say his age, and he just ran by, and he didn't seem to be running quickly, so his feet were sort of boom, 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 boom. But... I noticed that, uh, one, his kick was very high because often you, I'm seeing joggers and I see these feet barely leaving the ground, or not often, sometimes. But this guy's, uh, the soles of his shoes kept, you could see him come up, and he was taking these enormous strides. And not only were they enormous, he was vanishing into the distance, and he looked as if he could spend weeks or months just running at this particular pace and it was amazing I think in a podcast I might have mentioned something about it because it really blew my mind there are times the human body the actions of the human body is just so brilliant so elegant and this was a case of this guy just we just vanished into the distance and I'm there walking as fast as, as I could. There was no competition, but it was just the ease at which he did this. And then, of course, you see other joggers, you know, pass this way or that way. And nobody, I have, I think I've seen one other lady since then who had a similar elegance. This I, I don't know, I he could have been training for the marathon. He looked like, he, he was just so good and so at ease with his movement that I felt this has to be someone who is professional or, is it professional? Yes, or close to professional in terms of the level of their athleticism. And yeah, that was just one great thing that I got to look at and definitely got to enjoy and definitely in my head I could imagine an existence in which this body was able to do that, uh, but only in dreams, of course, only in dreams.